Hi guys and welcome back to the Gallies. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gallies. Good morning everyone. Welcome, welcome our, our precious, precious hearts. hearts. Yes, we got it right. <laughs> Let's up. So uh, we're still hype. <laughs> we ish, uh, yeah. Ish, yeah we um, we went up to one twenty six at the moment we are mm -hmm. filming right now. Yeah. Uh, we we're so glad thank for you, all your you, support. Thank you. thank you so much for everyone. We we're so happy and glad you guys liking our videos. And um, we definitely hope to grow more and more. So with that said, yes. don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Hit the bell to be notified once we post a video. Also share, recommend our channel. Mm -hmm. Leave us a comment as much as you yes. want. We love commenting with y'all, yes. so please do that and enjoy this video. Yes, so uh, today uh, we... Um, what time is it right now? It's about uh, 1.14, so it's kind of like a brunch right brunch. now. Yeah. Uh, we do have some uh, bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of bacon. Uh, we decided uh, to fry it so we can eat whatever we can want and just put the rest in the freezer or fridge. Refrigerated for the rest of the day, yeah. week, whatever. Uh, the, this is the chorizo and eggs mm -hmm. and low carb. Low carb uh, uh, tortillas. I kind of burned it because I put it on the stove because I don't want to have to use like a mon the little um, cast iron skillet to do it. And then and here in front. Homemade chili. Homemade salsa. I made this with jalapenos and tomatoes. I boiled them. Um, <laughs> You're so cute. Who made salsa? I I did garlic. I put it in my molcajete. My um. Okay, so my molcajete. If you don't know what it is, it's basically <laughs> it's, salsa. It's basically a lava rock that they formed into like a a mortar and pestle. That's Pistol, pistol. Whatever. Just, 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 just. Anyway, that. And, <laughs> and it has like a little rock that you grind with. And so um, I put it in there. Just and a homemade grinder. It doesn't need to do it. With it. <laughs> and more can it add salsa. So you use that. You use it. Salsa. It is salsa. Salsa. I love it. It's not chili. It's okay. salsa. Anyway, whatever. Salsita. Anyway, and I have some so on the side, sour cream and cheese also. Mm -hmm. yes. So we'll start to dig in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and coffee. Mm -hmm. Today, I traveled to Phoenix, Arizona. And she traveled to Romania. Uh, Romania. Mm -hmm. oh. And inside, yes, we do have Starbucks coffee. Um, a friend of ours works at Starbucks. Hi, yep. Raina. Love you. And, yeah, uh, she actually is just a, she's a newer subscriber. Uh -huh. Yeah, welcome, Raina. Raina Astrid, welcome to welcome. the family. We definitely love you. She's, mm. a, she's a very good friend of ours in person. <laughs> On live, in life. <laughs> Her and her husband would love them. Mm -hmm. mm. So, she works at Starbucks. And she gifted us a bag of um, coffee, and we have been enjoying it so much. Unfortunately, we missed out. We forgot to, cut, to, cut, to keep the name. Yeah. It's a seasonal one. It only comes in the fall. Mm -hmm. Comes out in, on the fall season. So, And the guys over there in the Starbucks, they were like amazing. They were so jealous. They were so jealous because we, when we got it, she kept it for us. And so it's a really good you're saying and it's uh Oh, oh. What? Shoot, I'm sorry. It goes out so fast. No. Oh no, I hope it doesn't stay in its oil. Oh, I'm getting a crack in my She missed out from. Oh yeah, this time. Last time it's you with oil. Look at this. No, it's you now. No, 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 don't talk to me. I'm talking to you. No, no, that's you. I'm talking to you about you, everything. Uh -huh. Hang on, guys. Let me wipe my husband's. Yeah, <laughs> <'cause>... <laughs> Hello? 
you know, it's not a lot because I don't want them to stain. I'm going to have to put that stain on the line. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. What? Yeah. Anyway, okay. So. If you're new to our channel, my husband is Egyptian from Cairo, Egypt. I am Hispanic. The way I said, Hispanic. Yes. I'm Hispanic, born and raised in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. Lived for a while in uh, Houston. So I love it. I offer 290 in Piedmont. That was my hood. Um, I started learning Arabic about. Musical? No more. Mm -hmm. Like 12 years now? Mm hmm. Because um, a friend of mine was taking the course in college and she actually turned out to be my roommate when we both moved to Houston um, to pursue our ministry and learn Arabic more. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know more conversational Arabic, like house things, um, and I'm like I'm trying to learn biblical Arabic, which is like proper words and uses for like the Bible, Jesus Christ, like different things like that. So. If you hear us speak Arabic, we apologize because that's what we do here at home. The majority of it is English and Arabic, mm -hmm. and then when I'm mad, it's Spanish, and then when he's mad, it's full Arabic. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So I'm warning y'all now. Slowly. We, we do say uh we talk too much Arabic for a long time ago. I know, but for new for the new ones. Oh yeah. Would y'all like or dislike be interested <laughs> in learning Arabic? We could perhaps do another segment or another channel. Where my husband and I teach you Egyptian Arabic. And we can just do it on the same video, uh, the same channel. Mm -mm. Why not? Because this is a mukbang channel. channel. Mm -hmm. This is an eating channel. The other one will be focused more on learning. Let us know in the comments if, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. You don't need a fork right there? Mm -mm. Why? Mm -hmm. But you need one. Okay. It's moisture. It's moisture. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we didn't have a topic coming in here. We we're just like, you know what? It's late. He just got off of work. I literally like just woke up. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm getting full. I'm gonna slow down now. I had too much coffee, too much tea, and then I was picking on the bacon a little. Mm -hmm. So, I get full. Mm. We need to do another challenge. Mm -hmm. What about them? Mm -hmm. I love challenges. I'm very competitive. <laughs> Both of us are. Um, we can't play games at the house because someone will get hurt. <laughs> Monopoly. We can't do. Well, pieces will be thrown off tables and money will be flying like we made it rain. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, 
sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing that we're competitive like that. Not to anyone else, just at the house with each other. Mm -hmm. I haven't even tried the salsa, but... You want some coffee? Yeah. I have some. I need a good song. Sorry guys, I didn't just get some coffee. And we definitely apologize for the last video. I don't know what happened. We, I guess we were in a rush and so excited that we set it up and it was just like off kilter. You couldn't see my husband. He was like leaning out. So you only got like parts and bits and pieces of his face. So I apologize for that. Mm. I did want to talk to y'all. Sorry, I have my notes. <clears throat> this is this oh, is my little huh? that, that one uh -huh. this is my little notepad that I got when I was in Egypt it says I love Egypt on the side and um, you, it's, it says it here like made in Egypt it's like that. Okay. <clears throat> so you we um, read from the uh, left to the right. We write from the left. No. Right to the left. I'm sorry. We do in America, in English, we always read from left to right. Right. The dog was... Bumpy. Anyway. In Egyptian, you read from right to left. But you, still don't, you don't flip the left. You don't, you don't flip the, the, the sentence. You just read in Arabic. Yes. So how we, I was expecting you to say that dog was uh, dog was barking. No. No, 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 no. I, I, I know enough not to say that. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So So anyway. Arabic, yeah. It's my little Tom and Jerry notebook. And it goes right to left. Mm -hmm. The the scene for the beginning is on the right side. Because you You write this way. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world writes this way. Maybe not. Maybe not. You know, it's like who, 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 how do you know the rest of the world writes from left to right? I've seen it. How many languages do you know? Couple languages. So <clears throat> you don't have the right to say like the rest, the, the rest of the language, the rest of the world say that. Okay. Yeah. See? I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Um I was thinking about like, okay, what to talk about. I kinda wanna go over like blessings that we've received. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is gonna be titled Things I Don't Have. And I'll explain. Many people always say, oh, well, I have, you know, a great life and I have, you know, this or that or, you know, they never say that they don't have. For instance, I don't have a negative outlook on life. That's a blessing. Many people feel that their life is... Um, tragic or something happens you know it's, it's like the world ends you know i don't have that i don't feel that way <clears throat> um also i have my reasonable amount of health mm -hmm. you know so what are some things that you feel you don't have i don't have bad energy um that's a lie I'm joking, baby. I know. It's silly. 
Yeah, you don't you don't have a bad attitude. Um Mm. Uh. Mm. I don't have a negative view of anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. He, he always tries to look for the um, best in someone. Um, everyone else may be like, oh, you know, this person is this way or that way and have a negative view about them. Him, he goes, he's still working on himself or she's still working on herself or she's a good person or he's a good person. Um, he just has flaws like the rest of us. Yeah, so I agree. What else? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing, like you don't have a bad intention. Mm -hmm. And the way that some people have the me-ism, like, oh, me first, me first, me first, or, like, what are you going to do for me? He doesn't have that at all. He's the type of person, like, if he sees you, he has, he'll take the shirt off his back and give it to you if you need it. He'll give you the last penny in his pocket, you know, type of attitude. Mm-hmm. What are some things that you don't have? What are some things that you wish you had? Or that you want to work on? Acquiring. And guys, we're not talking about financially, things like that. No. I wish I had more patience. Um, my nerves are shot. And so I wish that instead of reacting first, I'm learning or trying to calm down, view the situation, and then respond. So that's something that I need more of and I'm trying to work on. Mm -hmm. And I'll say my last, um, what I don't have. Mm. You know, this is, is that your phone? That's your phone. My phone? Mm -hmm. Anyway. No. Okay. Uh, One phone. Any phone. I said, I don't have a negative view. Mm -hmm. mm. This is really hard. Oh, yeah. Why don't you say something that I don't have? It'd be easier. Mm. I mean, you already know what you're going to have. So. I already know? Like, you just said them like right like, now. Uh, I just said one. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, so the main thing, uh, yeah, you slowing down. That's No, that's, that's what I need to work on. Mm -hmm. What don't I have? Hmm. I guess I have it all. 
bad intentions, bad feelings. Mm. No, you like you, you don't have bad intentions. Like that's uh, for sure, and uh, that's that's something that's hundred uh, um, percent. Mm. What else? Do you have a mean spirit? No. Nah. Really? You have a crazy spirit, but you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you don't have a mean spirit. You're um so you guys definitely uh she's not she never have a mean spirit. The thing is five per miles I don't know if you guys are dealing with it or not. That's you. No, that's you. My phone's up there. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> turn it off, Bobby. Probably oh, turn off. Oh, my voice is making the voice. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. You got messages. Okay. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we we were talking about the uh... yeah she doesn't have at all being being personality or anything. But I mean sometimes. Uh, the thing is uh, dealing with fibromyalgia is very, very... Oh, he's gonna get mad at you again. Uh, I thought you don't care about the uh, street for now. Y'all, we have the window open. Our mailman is gonna yell at us again because he parked right in front of the mailbox. I did not first of all. He didn't stop? That's his problem. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the fibromyalgia is very bad disease. Mm. What it is, it is a hitting or hitting, sorry, hitting the nerves, make the nerves over reacting mm -hmm. or over. Uh, They're oversensitive. So touch and hit your body completely mm -hmm. from head from head to toe. Well, it cause. Mm -hmm. It caused to your body that to be so sensitive for nothing. Even you could be mad at yourself for no reason. Yeah. So it is you might seem hundred percent physically well, however, with that disease your 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 inside is very, very ill because it affects your whole body. You don't have no problem outside, you can do all you want, but inside you messed up. Mm -hmm. So it affects you emotionally and physically. Mentally emotionally. also. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you it affects you emotionally because you start to think, okay, I'm useless, I don't know how to do nothing, I don't know that. It could bring you depression and it could get you to the situation that you could commit suicide. So that's why he's been talking. he's been through a lot with me in this process, and that's why he's talking from experience. Yeah, so it is unfortunately the disease doesn't have no cure yet. All what they are having, they are having just pain, pain management, pain management to control the nerve pain. But an actual medicine is not being introduced yet to the world. Anyway, to the point that what I meant is yes, she is not intentionally mean or she is not intentionally bad, she is not intentionally no. All of this is just effect of that disease. So sometimes like okay. From zero to a hundred. And if, then drop down to yeah. zero. Yeah. I I have no middle gauge anymore. I used to be able to like take so much pressure, so much, you know, and then at the end, when I get fed up, then I'll talk to you and be like, look, I didn't appreciate this. This is why I'm mad. Like, don't get wrong. I love you. But this and this, you know, I'd still be able to rationalize. Now it's like I don't have that ability. And so sometimes he gets it for things like really bad. Like I'm like, oh, hi, babe. I love you. And then why did you do that? You know, like because my nerves are just completely blown and I have no patience anymore. I you you know what I used to actually be a school teacher in the fact that I would um when I worked here in actually, San Antonio I'm sorry, I think this she was working with babies. Can I just finish? Uh, I have to I, have my I was going to say that. No, I have to I have my 
Two cents. Okay. Two cents, 50 cents, whatever. Yeah, my two cents. Is she's working with babies. We're talking about daycare. So, very yes. sensitive, crazy, crazy kids. Yes. So, my age group was from two months. <laughs> All right, sir. My age group was um, five months to after schoolers. So they weren't all in the same group, but it was what after schoolers, what like Shay and Trey's age. Um, they go to school, then we pick them up and take them and care really? for them. And, yeah. How old do we be? Um, they stay until they're 15. Uh, how old? Oh, I like 12. You can take care, you take care of 12, 12 years old people? Yeah. Kids? Yeah. Why? They were like super cool, the, the after schoolers. So who, who picked them up? I did. I drove the so bus. So wait, wait, I'm lost. So you start your day at 20 to when? I'd start in the morning. Okay. Um, at like, okay, so I would work a lot, shoot. Okay, so. I was a bus driver in the morning, so I would actually uh, help open um, the daycare, take the kids fr um, from the point or pick them up from their house and take them to school. Then I would come back, receive children, feed them breakfast, clean up, take my class to the room. And then from my class, we would bounce from different subjects, do different things, take them outside. I had four and five-year-olds. How many? Do you ever realize that you work in more than 40 hours? Yeah, I, 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 yeah. And then I would... Um, you know, that's illegal. I would... No, you I, never... Did you get paid over time at any point? No, um, I had an hour lunch. Still? And then I would, I would leave like around... Five or something. So when did you start? They start at seven. No, your shift. Seven. So your shift would start at seven? Yeah. Until when? It's about four or five. Okay, four, five. So from seven, that's seven a.m. to five p.m. Mm -hmm. That's ten hours. Even if you got an hour lunch, that's nine hours. That's illegal. Okay, I'm done. To work overtime without being paid overtime. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. But the back in the day, we're talking about like ten years ago. So yeah. the overtime thing wasn't wasn't forcible as today's day. Like. Anyway. Yeah. Today's day, you could if the if your manager or if your employer forced you to work then more than eight hours without being paid overtime, uh, unless you are exempt, meaning you be getting paid salary. A monthly salary, then definitely he either shows him or shows him. What? So them or so them. What so them and so them? I'm joking. You either so them or so them because your manager is you sue them. Sue them. Sorry. You either throw them or sue them. Yes. Okay. So if you're willing to, uh, if your manager didn't listen to you or your company didn't listen to you, you call the unemployment or the workforce, file a report, and go from there because this is illegal. Okay, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Houston and I worked at a private school. That was much better. I got paid a lot more. I did way less, and I just worked with babies. That's it. Mm -hmm. Newborns, infants, toddlers. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Anyway, I used to do that, and now it's like I love kids, but they get on my nerves very fast. Even my nephews, I'm like, they're playing and everything. I'm like, okay, that's enough. And they're like, what? I'm like, you're getting on my nerves. Just, okay, find a quiet spot, read for a minute. Like, my head is busting. 
And they do. Yeah, but anyway. Mm -hmm. So, so well, well, how did we get into this? I'm sorry. Mm. Because you were saying that he used to be more chill. Oh yeah, he used to be like way chill. Did we say that we are around 26 now? Subscriber? Yeah, I think so in the, in the beginning. Anyway, uh, I'm super full. Uh, I hope this video wasn't boring to y'all, but... <laughs> no. We are glamorous. Glamorous with a C or a G? G. So glamorous. Glamorous. <laughs> we are hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it's not a ha. I know it's not ha. It's a ha. It's hilarious. No. Mm -hmm. It's ha. No. <laughs> no, it's in Arabic. Khaleris. It's Khaleris with a cage. Khaleris. <laughs> Khaleris. You're so Khaleris. <laughs> Give me word. Give me any word. Give me any word. Tell you that the Greek. Uh... So anyway, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was going to say something. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about, y'all. Yeah. I'm just rambling. We love y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I think that, we, that's the point. We love you. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy our uh, channel. Mm -hmm. Enjoy our video. We um, we had to taste some uh, good food. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. That's what oh. I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Okay, say it before you forget. It. Okay, so with with what we're talking about today. Um, it's not to like be like, oh, like this is such a boring video or this is that. It's basically to make you think like, okay, your life may be somewhat difficult. You may be struggling financially. Let's say you're a single parent, you know, um, whatever the case so may be. I would say our message also wanted to say, wherever you are having, be always good. You might get blessed more, that's good. Positive. Be positive because still there is more people than you might have more problem mm -hmm. than less than what you uh, mm -hmm. have. More, more problems than what you have. Yes. So you might see, feel like, oh my God, I don't have like the, the whole problem, the whole world problem. No, you do not. There's you're still problems. alive, you're still breathing, you're still struggling you're still trying to make it yes but at least you're be doing thankful it. for what yes. you have at this moment yes because there's other people might not have it mm -hmm. might struggle more mm -hmm. yes you still have a roof over your head yes you still have food on your table mm -hmm. you're still blessed regardless of your situation mm -hmm. so homework <laughs> if you'd like List three things that you do not have. Again, not we're talking about money. Not financially. Are, not financially, not, not uh, anything. It's more personal, more um, your self-worth, basically. And three things you might need to work on mm -hmm. or need to work on. That's uh, Yeah. I think my biggest one is just like patience. Um yeah. Anyway, so anyway, we love y'all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your week also. Yes. And uh, we'll definitely please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and continue visiting our channel. Share, recommend our channel. Always welcome to the Gallies and welcome to our precious heart community. Yes. The Gallies are our. We love you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're gonna. We're going to turn off the video. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.